What's up, everybody? It's your boy Nick here with the Celebrity Big Brother season finale kickoff show. Um, I have been trying to go live stream for about an hour, and it has not worked. And I think it's because everybody's trying to go on YouTube right now and stream the finale, which really sucks. Um, if someone could give me advice as how to run these live streams, that would be great, because I need to get this figured out, like, whenever I can. That won't be a problem for Big Brother Canada when I start doing those videos. But anyway, um, let's. here's what's really going to happen. We're going to go through all the players, finally, so you guys will actually be able to hear me this time. My microphone works perfect. Um, I'm going to go through all the players again and do the analysis. I'll give my opinions on the house guests uh, one last time, and we'll do the jury scenarios as well. So... Without any more delay, let's finally get into this live stream. Although it's kind of, it's not really a live stream, it's just I'm just making do. Okay. So let's finally do this. Okay, once upon a time we had eleven house guests, eleven celebrity house guests, and one by one, each celebrity house guest was evicted or self evicted. And there were only three left. Cynthia Bailey, Misha Tate, and Todrick Hall. Now, let's bring everybody back so we can start talking about each house guest. Okay, so here are the player analysis. First off, Chris Kattan self-evicted himself from the game. I was really sad to see him go, but he, mentally he was just not prepared for Big Brother. Um... He was a funny guy. He had a funny sense of humor in the house. And he loved the cakes that Carson baked. In fact, he loved them so much, he went in the middle of the night and started eating them. While sleepwalking, basically. Okay. Next. Person finishing in 10th place is Teddy Mellencamp. Now, Teddy played a really good game at the very end. Uh, Misha, the head of household that week, put her on the block after she made a deal with Teddy to keep her safe. And Teddy called her out. Teddy called Misha out and said, "You flat out lied to my face. We shook on a deal, and you went back on your word. On your word." So, for that, Teddy finishes tenth place. Ninth place, we have Marai Nagasu. Uh, she was a, comp a competition beast. She almost won head of household the first week. And right there, she put the target on herself. So, Misha saw that right away. So, she did her magic to get her put up on the block that week. But, thanks to the Mon Juan curse, she was saved. So, but it could not save her the second week when she was put on the block next to Chris Kattan. And even after a self-eviction plea to the house guests, Mariah was still evicted over Chris Kattan. Alright, next up is Chris Kirkpatrick coming in at 8th place. Now, Chris had a good shot at winning, but he had he missed out on an opportunity to get Misha or Todrick out of the house. He was HOH the second week, and then Shayna had the power of veto that week. That was his ride or die. So... They had a shot at getting them out of the house, but they didn't. And that was the week that Mariah got sent home. So Chris would later pay the price the following week when he was sent home. Now, Shayna. Oh, if you heard my live streams last week, you know I had a lot to say about Shayna. So Shayna, uh, she got played dirty. She got played dirty. Because Carson was the HOH, so Misha and Todrick knew that they were in trouble, and they needed anything, any approach, to save themselves. So, they threw Shayna under the bus, and told, her that, told Carson that she was playing both sides of the house, and he believed them, he believed his arch, and arch nemesis, Misha, over the one person that saved him from the block. If you want to go back to my other live stream ten, uh, tonight after this video, uh, feel free to check that out. Because I had a lot to say about that. But poor Shayna had to pay the price and she was evicted that week. 
which thankfully Carson got his payback because he was evicted the following week. So Carson uh, was nominated on uh, Todd's HOH and I guess he had made a deal to Tamisha, the veto holder, to keep him on the block so they can campaign to get Lamar out of the house. Didn't work out for Carson because he got sixth place. Now, Mr. Lamar finished in fifth place uh, after sitting next to Cynthia on the block during, uh, was it Todrick's HOH? Sorry, it's been a long day. Um, after a valiant effort, um, Todrick was the sole vote, was the tiebreaker vote to get Lamar sent out of the house. Okay, now, um, and then next up we have Todd Bridges, who finishes in fourth place. Um, he fell victim to the double eviction, but had won an HOH and a couple vetoes, I believe. Or no, he won a veto, I believe. But anyway, he was becoming a competition beast. And so Todrick and Misha knew they had to get him out of the house as soon as possible. So, Todd was the second person evicted on the double eviction. So, who does that leave? Well, let's take a look. We have Cynthia Bailey. My Cynthia Bailey, the one that I picked on day one of Celebrity Big Brother, is now a finalist in the house. And how, how do I think she's going to... How do I think she'll fall? Or what place do I think she's going to get? I think she will get third place, in my opinion. Um, now, Cynthia really hasn't won any competitions, so I have a gut feeling she's not going to win the last HOH. So, because of that, I have a feeling she's going to get third place. So, who do I think is going to win $50,000? It's going to be Todrick, and let me tell you why. Because he has he, he has pissed off so many people on the jury. It's crazy. They the, the celebrities have been able to go home and watch the whole series unfold because they couldn't do jury uh, jury house with such little time. So a lot of people are seeing the bashing that Todd Todrick has given to all the evicted house guests, and for that he likely will pay the price. So I think Todrick will finish second place. Which means, I think Misha... <laughs> Sorry. I think Misha will likely win the game tonight. I have a gut feeling she will be the projected winner. Anyone sitting next to Misha is going to lose. I'm just going to tell you that right now. But the only person I see her sitting next to is Todrick. Because, like I said, they're going to get Cynthia out as soon as they can. Now, Misha has, and she has reason to win because she's won so, so, so many comps this season, season. And her social game, now she was able to manipulate Carson to get him to put up Shayna and get her out of the house. So she is really good at manipulation. So that's why I think Misha will win tonight. Now, here are the jury scenarios. Now note, I think I've said it in the last video, but I need to make a note change. Only eight people, eight jurors will be voting. So if there is a tie, you guys at home will be casting the final jury vote. And you'll hear more about it during the finale, which starts very soon. Okay, so here is scenario number one. And I'm getting my Snapchat story ready to go. Because I need to post my jury scenarios. Okay. So if we have Cynthia versus Misha, Teddy, Mirai, Chris, Shayna, Carson, Lamar, and Todd, I think will all vote for Cynthia. And Todrick will vote for Misha. Now, I don't see this scenario happening. I've even put it right here. This scenario will not happen but let's imagine okay if this were to happen by some miracle Cynthia will win seven to one why do I believe that because why not Misha I think because Misha 
did some dirty work and had a hand in everyone's eviction. Now, they could have a change of heart and could respect Misha's uh, gameplay. If that's the case, I think Misha could win 6-2. to two. So, let's move on. Okay, Cynthia versus Todrick. If it's Cynthia versus Todrick, I believe Teddy, Mirai, Chris, Shayna, Carson, Lamar, and Todd will all vote to, to give the win to Cynthia. And Misha will vote for Todrick. Because Todrick has pissed off a lot of people in the jury. And so there is a point of no return. If this does happen, and it is likely to happen tonight, Cynthia wins 7-1. to one For doing absolutely nothing. But she is my final two pick, so let's move on. Misha versus Todrick. This is likely the scenario we're going to get. Um, I think Teddy and Mariah will be the only two votes for Todrick, if he gets any. Otherwise, everyone else is going to vote for Misha. So it would be a 6-2 to two vote. But it can also, like I said, it could be a clean sweep for Misha. So, uh, let me get my... I forgot I'm supposed to be doing Snapchat. <laughs> there we go. And let me do the last one. There we go. Okay, so here is the jury outcomes. Misha and Cynthia both have a 50% chance of winning. Todrick has blown his chances because everyone's been able to go home and see what he's been saying about them behind their backs. Now, the tiebreaker. There are only eight people voting in the jury. If there is a tie, America, yes, you at home, get to cast the final jury vote. So watch the Big Brother finale for more details about voting. If the tiebreaker is needed, the person who gets the most votes from America will win the last jury vote. So, be ready, America. So, the Big Brother finale is coming up. So, check your local listings. As for the Big Brother Recap Show, tomorrow is our season finale. We will be going live, and the internet traffic will be a lot better tomorrow, so we'll be good on that. Alright, so let's turn it back to me now. Okay, so again, I'm sorry for all the delays that happened today. Um, it shouldn't be a problem tomorrow. Um, so make sure to tune in for the Big Brothers recap show season finale, um, and I'll give my closing remarks on the whole season of, of Celebrity Big Brother. So have fun tonight if you're watching the Celebrity Big Brother finale, and uh, I will see you all tomorrow. Okay, see ya.